I'm here at one of the premier engineering facilities in the UK. This is the Nikin Innovation Centre Europe. Why should you not slot mill? Welcome to MTD CNC. Today I'm going to talk to you about machining strategies. More specifically, high-speed machining or trachoidal or adaptive roughing, whatever you want to call it, versus full slotting. Now this is when you're roughing apart, whether you're doing the outer form or a pocket. I assume most machine shop, people running machine shops, operators, you're probably doing shortest path slot milling. Now this is when you're programming offline, you're going X0, X plus 50, X, Y minus 50 to machine, I don't know, round a square and you're just taking the shortest path you can to take out the material you want. Now, it works and uh, it's, it's quite quick, it's the shortest path, so it takes the least amount of time. But, what is high speed machining? Why would you want to use it? Now, you can see inside this pocket, this is using a high speed machining process. Now, this is taking smaller, lighter cuts, at higher RPMs and higher feed rates. Why would you want to do that? It sounds like it'd take ages. Let's say, for example, titanium, 25 meters a minute, 0.06, 25 mil wide, 50 mil deep. Massive forces in cut, but it does it really quickly. Here, you've got a different kind of tool. You instead go in 120 meters a minute, maybe 0.08, maybe 0.1, maybe 0.12 feet per tooth. That's a hell of a lot quicker, but they probably do it about the same time. So the benefits are not necessarily cycle time. What we're interested in is improving our tool life, improving our regrind capability, and making sure our machine tools have much less hammer on them day in, day out, okay? Now, what's wrong with slotting? First of all, you're entering into cut probably straight. That is no good for your tool life. You're shocking the tool as it goes in, instantly deflecting it. As you see, uh, if you enter into the tool, into the cut here also, when you exit out of the cut, you're getting deflection. Is coming The deflection that uh, the tool was experiencing, suddenly the forces disappear on the tool. This is a straight tool path, but you get a massive gouge in here. That is huge. That's about a mil and a half, maybe two mil. With high-speed machining, you're taking small cuts. There's much less load on the tool, much less deflection, so you don't get these weird gouges, which might put your part out of tolerance. They are shock-loading the tool, changing the chip load all over the place. If you imagine, rather than just doing a straight slot as well, imagine if you do a full slot cut which goes up, right, down, left, you're changing the chip load on those little points of uh, change of direction. That's massive. You're, you've got really bad tool wear. You might even get catastrophic failure. Tool breakage, not good for, for your parts, not good for your machine shop economics, okay? One of the main advantages of high-speed machining, again, if you've got full wear, if you've got even wear on the tool, you're controlling your entries and exits, you're even wear on the tool, that makes regrinding so much easier. And we all know if you've got an expensive, nice end mill, maybe it's cost you 100 quid, 200, even 400 pounds some people pay for end mills, you want to make sure you get as much life out of it as possible. So if you regrind it three times, that's basically a third the price of the tool than if you regrind, if you can't regrind it because you've got too much uneven wear on it because you're full slotting. Benefit number one. Benefit number two, let's say you've got a 25mm mill, 10mm mill, let's say your flute length, I don't know, 10mm mill, your flute length is 20 mil, 15, 16 mil. If you're full slotting, most of the time in steels, you're probably like 15, 10 mil deep. That means you've got about 10, 15 mil of, of uh, flute length of sharp carbides you're not even using. Why did you pay for it? With high-speed machining, you can go the full depth because you're only taking small step overs. That means you're using the full length of the carbide edge. You're getting exactly what you pay for. So for me, the economics make a lot of sense. Even if you maybe don't save on cycle time, you definitely save on tool life. Maybe you should think about high-speed machining.